It would just be so unfortunate if I were to go my whole entire life without getting piped by at least a hundred different people. My problem is the question of why. Hey yo, I'm toasted. Uh, ideas. And today I saw a video I wanted to react to. And it is by a channel that goes by Unrealness. Uh, and the title is The Outcomes of Unfiltered Internet While Growing Up. Want to do as long as it's not hurting anybody. And so, first things first, uh, things I would like to already note is this dude has an absolute in with nurses or doctors. Because, do you see that bulging vein right there? Like, bro has an in with the nurses. Now, not to cast judgment on people, I think monogamous relationships are probably the healthiest ones you can get. I mean, if you're on Reddit, then you'll know that that statement's absolutely correct. I, I, I hear, I listen to more stories of open relationships that don't work than I do of open relationships that do work. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say this is like to promote something of hers, you know, get men aroused and therefore make money from aroused men. So that's what I'm suspecting. I think it'll be fake, but I mean, technically you'll never know nowadays. It would just be so unfortunate if I were to go my whole entire life without getting piped by at least a hundred different people. My problem is the question of why. Like, why do you want to get piped down by a hundred different dudes? That's very pointless. Like, what's the purpose? What's the end goal? To, as she says, to meet the right one, but like, how does getting piped down equate to finding the right one, quote unquote? How does that work? Honestly, the thing that turns me off from her isn't the fact of her getting, wanting to be piped down by 100 dudes, but it's the childish way that she goes about doing this that that's what turns me off it's the childishness of it like she just wants it for the sake of wanting it there could nothing there could be nothing more childish than that act in and of itself because a child wants candy for the sake of wanting candy because oh boy it tastes good uh, there's no mental forethought of the future in that child and so i i look at it as just being a, a point of childishness which she's 18 and she's still acting childish like that that's that's my issue. Anywho, it's the childish mindset that turns me off. It's not even like, I mean, the body count, like, sure, I guess. But at the same time, it's not, I don't really care for that part, if I'm being honest. I, I really don't, because in the end, some people get to where they're going by doing something for some reason. If the reason is childish, then I don't want you, because how long are you going to be childish for? Think of the think of the time you're wasting with a hundred different dudes like let's let's make a fair like a very quick Assumption that these dudes are taking what's the average time during s like five minutes or something like that uh, like A hundred people for five minutes. What what is that math? I don't know cuz I'm not really th well. It's 500 minutes which 500 divided by 60 it's about 10 10 hours, almost nine. It'll be like 8.8 8, 8 hours and 20 minutes or something like that. Quick estimates, okay? I don't actually know. I'm not looking at a calculator or anything here. But that's a lot of your life that you're wasting away for literally nothing. Like, why? Something tells me that when this girl was growing up, she was either probably absent her father or it was terrible parenting overall. Maybe she had both parents, but she was sat in front of a tablet or a laptop her entire childhood as her parent, being exposed to completely unfiltered nastiness that is the internet. She says in the video that she's 18, and if she really is that young, she didn't develop all these desires from conversations with her friends. Yeah, I mean, he points out exactly what I kind of went over in the video of me talking about how a fatherless generation, that video, uh, which I, I still appreciate. It's very nice, but it, it he went over exactly what I talked about it was about how every how people are nowadays growing up with YouTube only fans models and shit like that. Everyone is now growing up with those people as our role models, and then you end up with situations like this where people don't grow up because they're currently living in a life of non-existence, which is internet. Because the internet, let's be real, it it. Aside from it being in reality, doesn't actually exist. These people living lives of luxury and lavishness are... The chances of you meeting those people or becoming those people is very unlikely. Or at least for being 18. 
So you're, you're living vicariously through people who are living lives completely different than you. And, well, then you end up with childishness because they just don't grow up and understand their own circumstances. But aside from that idea, if it is a real thing, then I don't know what the boyfriend is doing. Why is he with someone who is 18 and still acting childish like that? What are you doing? Like, that is, that is a miserable relationship. Anywho, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Because maybe you have disagreements, maybe you agree. Anywho, uh, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, become a fellow bread bag, and also hit that like button so that people who may not have seen this video can see this video and so that they might also join the bread box. Because once again, we need more bread. Got it? Good. But anywho, until next time, which I hope to see you, have a good one.